Hello, hello. Welcome to another live stream. It's Friday night, 7 o'clock, and you know what that means. We're back for our weekly live stream. Hope everyone is having a good evening. Hope you had a good week. And uh, we're going to get this thing started here in just a minute. Uh, just got to get a couple of things set up here. No, let's let's get going here. We're going to start off looking at uh, some footage of the uh, USS Kid here in uh, World of Warships. Some new footage, I like the little pirate thing that they uh, that it has there on the funnel. Uh, no updates yet on when the kid will be uh, getting towed out of Baton Rouge to dry dock to uh, get some much needed repairs, but. Uh, Stay tuned to the channel for that because I will definitely be keeping you folks updated uh, on that when it happens. Uh, this footage is uh, my buddy Matt, who normally joins us in the live stream, uh, has the kid in World of Warships. And uh, I was actually spectating him, watching him. I've kind of gotten back into that game a lot recently. I've been enjoying it. I've, been, I've played it on and off for years. I just love seeing all the old uh, ships, you know, real ships here. And, um, yeah, this was me spectating him. Uh, he usually joins me every week on the live stream. I don't know if he's going to be with us this evening. Hopefully uh, he will be able to make it at some point. But, uh, yeah, um, again, hope everyone's had a good week. Uh, it was a short week for me. Um, didn't have much going on on Labor Day, uh, no work or anything, so always enjoy when it's a short week. Um, I was looking at Facebook uh, earlier today, speaking of uh, like old warships and stuff, and I noticed that um, the USS Alabama, uh, they're doing a, um, a renovation of its decks, which I knew that was going on because I went to the ship earlier this year uh, and did the tour. And uh, you can find a video of that on the YouTube channel. Just check in the video section. It's also, um, it should be in two different playlists. Um, should be in the uh, Titanic and other ship related content playlist and the uh, travel playlist as well. So uh, be sure to look for that there. But anyway, um, like I was saying, uh, they're replacing the uh, the entire deck on the USS Alabama, and they're actually selling pieces of the original deck in, uh, in different uh, formats. You can buy one that's like a plaque, one that's in the shape of a coin. Um, there's a couple that they've turned into magnets and whatnot, and they're selling this stuff uh, to the general public, and you can buy a piece of the original deck that was on the USS Alabama at the time the Alabama served in World War II. Nathan, what's up? How was your week? How was your Labor Day? <laughs> Hopefully uh, all uh, was good. Mine was all right. Um, I know uh, both of our football teams didn't uh, do so well uh, in week one. Hopefully uh, we can correct those issues. <laughs> that was pretty embarrassing. But uh, anyway, so yeah, if you want, you can buy an actual piece of the wooden deck for the USS Alabama. And I'm strongly considering doing that because, um, as you can see, each week I've got stuff behind me here. Uh, pretty good, chilled out most of the week. Yeah, I didn't do much for Labor Day. Um, I think I, I worked on some models. I finished this up. And uh, I'll be getting to uh, models in just a second here. But, um, yeah, as you can see, uh, well, Titanic joins us every week. Um, I've got the USS Arizona joining us. And the SS United States, the fastest ocean liner ever built. Even to this day, she remains the fastest ocean liner ever built. We've got my little 3D print of the Britannic that I bought. I've got my book here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you probably can't see it, but I've read this book from start to finish. Uh, Dead Wake, The Last Crossing of the Lusitania. Brilliant book. Absolutely love this book. So I've got all that on the little shelf here behind me. 
How cool would it be to have an actual piece of the USS Alabama right here to add to my, uh, my growing collection of ship-related stuff? Yeah, college football went down bad. Yeah, no kidding uh, for both of us. Uh, Saints' first game is Sunday. Hopefully um, that will end up being a little bit better. They, uh, they play the Titans. Oh, we've got the North Carolina showing up here. Uh, speaking of, well, the North Carolina class this is, but uh, for those who may have not noticed, uh, this week's video dropped on the channel this morning. It was part one of building the USS North Carolina. Uh, stay tuned for next Friday. Part two uh, will be out. You will see the completed model of the ship, and it will be making its debut here on the live stream with me. So I'm real excited about finally being able to show you guys uh, how the how the North Carolina came out. Um, as far as all the models I built, um, it looks uh, it's one of the best jobs that I've done, and I, I can't wait to show it to you guys. Um, no, Nathan, this uh, is not uh, part of the game that you were uh, playing on. Uh, so one of the things I, I do with this when we watch this footage uh, that you're seeing is I use um, actual, um, well, I mean, they're all real ships, but I, I try to try and keep it uh, as close to using ships that I can actually get models of. Um, that's why we're seeing the North Carolina here. Uh, there is a USS Kid that uh, is going to be in the works um, and a few others that are in the game. But, um, yeah, but these are level 8s. The North Carolina and the Kid are both level 8s. So uh, when you do get to that level in the game, don't be surprised if, uh, if some of your footage pops up here on the live stream. Oh, just, we just got it torped bad right there. But uh, if you haven't gotten that St. Louis yet, you need to get that because, oh, man, is that ship fun to play. <laughs> But yeah, I, I'm not sure where Matt is this evening. Um, well, I, actually, I think I know where he is. I think he's in bed. <laughs> I got my first destroyer. Not good at torps yet, though. It, it torps do take practice. They really do. But uh, once you get the hang of it, uh, you know it's going to be fun. You know the battleships here. Uh, that's kind of the destroyer is kind of the bane of our existence here because of those torpedoes. <clears throat> Want to get aircraft carriers? Yeah, aircraft carriers are is something I've never done on the on that game, and I've played this game on and off for years. Notice, hands free, folks. I'm actually not playing. We're just watching footage. Uh, so we can look at the North Carolina class here. Uh, we can see the kid. Well, we just saw the kid. I uh, believe we're going to see Titanic uh, coming up, and we're going to see uh, the Arizona, uh, which is why both the ships are joining us here tonight on, uh, on the little shelf. Um, speaking of aircraft carriers, I would love to get a model of the USS Midway, which is an aircraft carrier uh, that I toured uh, in San Diego last year. Those things are massive. I, I don't think you get the tour, uh, maybe maybe half of the ship at the most. I mean, they're unbelievable. Uh, if you've never toured the USS Alabama, uh, I know you're in, you're in Florida, and uh, that's, that ship's relatively close to you, uh, closer to you than what the kid is, of course. Uh, you should go check that out. Because it's one, it's one thing to see these ships in games and, you know, models and whatnot, but the ones that we can still see in person, you know, we can actually look at them with our own eyes. We can touch them with our hands. We can smell the smell that's in the ships. Uh, you know, video games and movies and all that, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, really convey how awesome it is to actually be on those ships. Uh, she's going to get torpedoed again here. No, no, well, we're going to thread the needle. Yep. North Carolina threaded the needle. So, um, yeah, when you go into the Arizona, 
uh, not the Arizona, the Alabama. Uh, oh, I'm not going to dodge these. You can, when you go down in deep into the bowels of the ship, and when I say smell, you can still smell the diesel that's, that was there in the ship. It's, it's that, don't really care for the, a, a diesel smell much, but wow, hmm, it's still cool and amazing to see. So when it comes to school, I'm just going to be doing my associates and going to work. I don't want to be in school for four plus years always being in school i want to go asap or go to work asap yeah you could do that and at some point if you you know if you decide you ever want to go back to school and get a uh you know i'm i don't know what degree you're going for um maybe be at a, a master's or whatever you can always go back later on and get that should you so decide you want to I never, uh, unfortunately, got my bachelor's or anything. I was a terrible, terrible math student. So math is why I do not have a college degree. I, I've got the, the comprehension of an eighth grader when it comes to math. I just, my brain doesn't comprehend it. You know, I can do basic math, and that's about it. Oh, wow. They got, got a good hit on that one. Tell you, history was always my thing. I actually, when I first started going to college right after high school, um, history was going to be one of my, uh, well, it was my, it was my original major. But again, the math, I just, I can't do it. See, server administration, you really need an associate's, but it's not even required, but doing the search through school to get the ones I need really helps. That's cool. Well, also, though, would getting an associate's and uh, eventually a bachelor's, wouldn't that theoretically, um, I don't know, if make you more valuable would be the right way to put it, but wouldn't that get you more pay in your field if you had uh, either one of those uh, degrees. I was reading earlier today about this, um, the North Carolina class, just reading about that game in general. And, uh, it's one of the, actually the better battleships in the game. So, uh, Stands to reason why it's it's taking such a pounding and still going. You know, fun fact: there was actually only two North Carolina class battleships: uh, the USS North Carolina BB fifty five, and the USS Washington uh, BB fifty six. Of course, as you know, if you've been following the channel, the North Carolina uh, still exists. I toured it last year, and. Um, it is a museum ship, whereas the USS Washington, unfortunately, uh, it was scrapped. So it's not required to be honest. It helps, but if you don't have it, you just need some more experience compared to someone who does have a higher degree. Right. So, uh, but wouldn't someone with a higher degree than you uh, make more money? I mean, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean they're better at the job than you or know more than you, but you know how a, a lot of things go with the degree versus the person, the, the person who has it versus the person who doesn't. The person who has the degree generally tends to make more, I guess is what I'm getting at. Not necessarily. Okay. Well, good to know. I actually tried to go into like networking and whatnot in the earlier 2000s, but as you know, that's all about coding and zeros and ones and twos. And again, not my bag. I, I just, I couldn't comprehend it. But it, it helps you get there faster, I see. Yeah, in the end, it's all about, I guess, you know, what you can store up here. That footage got really choppy there for a minute.
Uh, by the way, uh, Nathan, if uh, I will more than likely be playing this uh, after the stream is over. So uh, if you ain't got no plans and you want to hop in and play a few rounds, um, you're certainly welcome to do so. You know, what I really can't wait for is um, Grand Voyage, which is the upcoming game by uh, Ocean Liner Designs, which is a, uh, one of the more popular uh, ship channels on YouTube that I follow. And he's going to have a lot more, uh, almost like the Ocean Liner version of this game, except there's no fighting, of course, it's just Ocean Liners. I know that game is going to start off with the Empress of Ireland. Um, there's going to be airships in that game. Uh, the Aquitania is going to be in there at some point, which is another uh, favorite of mine. Hopefully at some point I'll have uh, Olympic and Britannic. Uh, like you don't even need associates if you have an A plus and compi competent certification, CompSHA certification, you can start right then and there. I see. Starting rate for a level one help desk support role is around twenty dollars an hour, which is like forty thousand a year. Yeah, that must that must be nice. <laughs> twenty bucks an hour. All right, here. So uh, we're switching into. Uh, Honor and Glory's, uh, one of Honor and Glory's demos here, uh, which we've seen this one a good bit uh, recently. Uh, I've played this uh, footage a, a few times in the recent weeks, so uh, I think I'll have to switch this up next week and do some different stuff. But uh, it wouldn't be uh, All American Travels without seeing the Titanic, now would it? <laughs> That's a really good starting rate. Yeah, no kidding. Um, that is actually an excellent starting rate. You know, how, how many jobs these days you see start you know, at $20 an hour? Well, and there she is. The experience in being able to move up, you can make anywhere from sixty to a hundred thousand a year. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. Now, uh, do you see yourself living uh, or staying in the Gainesville area when you're done, or are you? I mean, because that's a job where you could pretty much go, you know, almost anywhere in the world and do that job. Senior admins make about eighty thousand a year or so. Jeez. I wish I could make eighty thousand a year. Maybe if uh, if I can ever uh, hit it big on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, until then we're uh, we're one of the small timers, which is fine. Everybody's got to start somewhere, right? I'd like to say close to home if I could. Yeah, I hear you. Um. I have mixed feelings about that. Some, there are times when I just I want to get the hell out of here and never look back. And then there's times where it's like, man, I really, I'm I'm content. But I guess everybody has those feelings from time to time. I could really see myself living in Texas. Uh, I've always thought about moving to Texas, to be honest. I just do not get tired of looking at this ship. I don't care what anyone says. The Olympic class, some of those beautiful ships ever built, in my opinion. I know Aquitania has the nickname ship, the ship beautiful, but uh, that's not because of her exteriors that was because of her interiors which are probably more impressive than what the olympic class were i've, I've seen enough pictures and yeah uh she really she really earned that title the ship beautiful but you know the olympic class can hold their own let's uh let's expand this so you don't have to keep looking at my uh 
had my taskbar there. I didn't even realize that was happening. I was actually uh, reading up earlier today about the only Japanese passenger on the Titanic. In a, let me uh, let me pull up his name here real quick. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to pronounce it correctly, but uh, Masab Masabumi Hosano. Uh, he was a second class passenger, and he was the only uh, Japanese passenger on the Titanic. What's up, Billy? Uh, that is Belfast Harbor. <laughs> that is not not down the bayou. But yeah, I was reading about him earlier today, and uh, his story, uh, in a way, kind of resembles Bruce Ismay's in the sense that uh, he was pretty much damned for surviving the uh, the Titanic disaster. So uh, the story goes that uh, uh, he was a second-class passenger, and uh, during the evacuation, he by the time he made it onto the boat deck, most of the lifeboats were gone, and he managed to get into lifeboat number 13, uh, according to uh, Encyclopedia Titanica, and uh, he survived, of course. He made it on a 13. So, actually, let me pull up the, let me grab the model here. Uh, whoops. So, this would have been lifeboat number 13 right here. So, he comes up through the second class entrance right here. Most of this is all gone. And this is Murdoch's side of the ship. So, it makes sense that as a man, he was able to get into a lifeboat. Because, um, let me pick this back up. So, uh, as we know, through the historical record, um, Murdoch would let men onto lifeboats if there were no other women left when uh, around the boat when they were just about full. Um, uh, Osano saw one man get in, and then he got on after. Uh, no one objected. Uh, there's no reason to believe that he took the place of a woman or a child, and that's what he pretty much got damned for, the same as Bruce Ismay. Um, so I, I, I really can't fault him. You know, he didn't do anything wrong. Um, he was damned by... His country uh, in, ja in in Japan uh, in 1912 Japanese culture, uh, according to what I've read, it was considered uh, dishonorable to for this man to take the place of a woman or a child in the lifeboat, just like uh, Ismay was accused of doing. But uh, again, there's no evidence to suggest that he did that, and uh, he pretty much uh, he got fired from his job sort uh, shortly after that. But uh, his company eventually realized how valuable he was to them, and he decide and they decided to hire him back. So he was fired, but thankfully not for too long. Uh, he endured, you know, shame for decades. Um, but he died. Um, he died in like 1939, uh, if memory serves. And. Uh, when the Cameron movie came out in 97, uh, his story basically resurfaced, and they found uh, a, a, a letter that he was writing uh, to his wife that was on Titanic stationery, and he was writing it to his wife in English. And it's one of the only uh, known uh, letters to be written on the Titanic uh, stationery that was still in existence. And uh, he also wrote about his experiences uh, uh, on the ship and on the uh, during the sinking on the same stationery. And uh, history has been a bit more forgiving to him than it has uh, for Ismay. And uh, his family feels like uh, what was written down has vindicated him to a large degree. Maybe completely, I'm not entirely sure. 
So, yeah, that is the story of the only, well, the very short, condensed story of the only uh, Japanese passenger uh, to sail on the Titanic. I think we're going to be looking at some more uh, warship footage when we get to the front of the ship. Just changing things up, keeping it different. So Nathan, we've got a convention here uh, that's going to be close to me tomorrow called uh, RetroCon. Um, and it's like uh, you go and uh, it's it's a convention that just got started uh, recently. Uh, with I think last year was the first one. And you go and you can buy, sell uh, video games, movies, um, different types of merch or whatever. Uh, are you into that kind of stuff? Just curious. You know, like um, comic movies, uh, comic merch, um, horror movies. Uh, you know, what, 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 what is your, uh, what, what are the things that you're into? Yeah, school has been good. Quite a bit of homework to do this weekend. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's one thing I do not miss about school is homework. Because <laughs> even in, like in, in the nice, I kind of am and kind of not. Okay, so um, give, me, give me an example. What, what's one thing that you're really into, like uh, comic-wise? And uh, are you into, like, any horror stuff? Because I'm also a big horror fan, too. I, I love horror movies. I love horror stuff. You'll see next month when, um, in October, I'm going to have all kind of horror-themed stuff behind me instead of the ships. And I'm going to have a couple of horror-themed uh, videos for the channel, too. And there is a horror movie uh, that it, uh, features the Titanic. It's called Titanic 666. Um, we will not be discussing uh, that in any way, shape, or form. Um, that's just straight up trash in my opinion. So uh, don't expect a review of anything like that. There is this movie, a horror movie, uh, that the Queen Mary is in. And I'm debating on whether or not to watch that. I forget what it's called. But more than likely, I'll end up watching that one. I've sort of steered away from physical media stuff, to be honest. I like movies and shows, but it just takes up a lot of space. Streaming is a lot more convenient. I agree with you fully, 100% on that. The only physical media that I have is stuff that I cannot find digitally. I've gotten rid of all my other physical media. I like some of the Marvel stuff. I've never really watched any of the DC movies. That's because most of the DC movies are garbage. Um, I'll give you three that I recommend, and that's about it. Um, Blue Beetle that just came out, uh, I really enjoyed that. Uh, so uh, I would recommend that one. It's more of a comedy, really, than anything. Uh, at least the first half of it is. Um, the Wonder Woman movie uh, that came out a few years ago was actually really good. And the, uh, the newest Batman uh, with Robert Pattinson, uh, that is also an excellent movie. So uh, those are only three uh, DC movies I would recommend. But yeah, I, I can't stand having physical media. And, and truthfully, the only reason I bought this book, instead of, uh, I even buy my books digital, but I, I saw it, I really like the cover art of it, and... Um, it was relatively cheap, so I just went ahead and bought it. I came across it. Um, I went on a road trip to um, Gulfport, Biloxi, a few, uh, I think last month or month before. And uh, there was a Books A Million there in, uh, in a mall that we had stopped at. And I was browsing through, and I decided, hey, you know, let me, I'm just curious. Let me see if they have this book. And I checked for... Um, a book called On a Sea of Glass, uh, which all the uh, the Titanic people will know is like, 
it's like the be-all, end-all of Titanic books. It's, you know, it's like the Bible of the Titanic. They did not have that one, but they did have this one. So I went and got this one. I have Max right now. I watched the first Fantastic Beast movie yesterday. That was pretty good. I have not seen that movie. But yeah, even when I was reading that book, um, I like to basically, I, I lay down on my couch and hold the book up and I read the book and um, just reading, even just reading the book like that, I was annoyed. And the reason I was annoyed with it is because um, I had to keep the lights on, and obviously, in order to see the book. Whereas... Um, if I'm reading on a tablet, I've got this. I've got this stand. It's like the bottom of it is like a tripod, and the top of it you can you mount your tablet to it, and you can move it in basically any direction. So I would lay down. Uh, last time I read a book on it, I laid down on the couch, and I positioned the tablet where it was like right in my face. I didn't even have to hold it. I could turn out the lights, and I don't need them because obviously, you know, the tablet is illuminating the book to me. And when I need to change the page, it's the only time I got to touch the tablet is swipe over to the next page. I read a Star Wars novel that way. It's a part of a trilogy. And um, I'm going to be reading. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get uh, more into uh, that trilogy. I got to read the second part. But that was a much more fun and convenient way to uh, read a book, at least in my opinion it was. It, it works better for me than holding a physical copy of a book. See, it's a continuation of the Harry Potter movies. Oh really, I did not know that. I, I love the Harry Potter movies. I am a big fan of the Harry Potter movies. Never read a single book of Harry Potter, never even knew Harry Potter existed until uh, the movie started coming out, but uh, even after the first one I was hooked. And we are looking at the Arizona here. Um, I'm going to go run and grab a swig of drink uh, real quick. It'll just take a second, folks. I will be right back. All right, sorry about that. Uh, hopefully I wasn't going too long. I love the job uh, that I, I'm so proud of the job that I did on my USS Arizona. So we're looking at the ship here. And the only thing I, if assuming uh, World of Warships has theirs correct, their model, the only thing I got wrong is I painted 
the turret here that's got the aircraft on it, I painted the top of it red, and according to uh, Warcraft, uh, why do I keep saying Warcraft? Warships, uh, th that one should not be red. But I'm still really proud of the job that I did on this ship. It was the first, this is the first one that I built uh, where I, and it's the only one that I built where I hand painted everything. The entire ship is hand painted. So yeah, let's put her back on her stand. And I, I'm so excited for next week to uh, put the North Carolina on the stream. I really am. Uh, the All-American Travels Navy grows. We now have three battleships in the fleet. I saw that um, Trumpeter is supposedly making a uh, 1 to 700 model of both Olympic and Britannic. You know, I will be like foaming at the mouth to get those right. <laughs> it's pretty much a bona fide certainty that's going to happen. Assuming those ships actually come out. What about horror movies, Nathan? Are you into like horror movies at all? Gotta love uh, uh, somebody's trying to, some spam is trying to spam risk call right in the middle of my stream here. I didn't even, um, I didn't even buy this game, uh, or buy this game, buy this ship in the game. Like, every now and then, uh, it's happened twice where they've just let me play the Arizona for free. So, of course, you know, I take advantage of that. Uh, be right back. No worries, man. Do, do what you got to do. I'm giving strong thought to uh, going to Galveston. Uh, before the end of the year because they're doing uh, tours of the battleship Texas where you can go uh, tour the ship in dry dock while it's undergoing uh, renovations and repairs and I would absolutely love to see that that would be huh, amazing be able to go into dry dock and see the ship <laughs> what <laughs> no way on this earth uh, would, would I not want to see that? I'm definitely going to try and make that possible. And I, I know I'll try to do some type of video of it. Um, I don't know if uh, how successful I'm going to be with that because um, I know for a fact you can take photos while you're there, but uh, video is not allowed. So the only thing I could do is maybe do like a montage of, uh, of photos, which is still better than nothing. And uh, as far as I know, uh, the tech, the battleship Texas is the only Titanic era ship uh, that uh, could still be in existence. Uh, if anybody watches this and hears me say that and knows that I'm wrong, feel free to correct me. But I want to say uh, it was either I think it was commissioned like a month after the Titanic's maiden voyage. Now, of course, the only ocean liner that still exists that is close to Titanic uh, would be the Queen Mary. That's obviously on my bucket list. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. Uh, Queen Mary is like, uh, I think like 22 years newer than what the Titanic was. I want to say she launched in 34, if memory serves. Let me see. When, when was the Queen Mary's maiden voyage? Queen Mary. 
you think I'd remember that offhand, uh, but having a brain fart. Can you just give me the wiki page? That'll be the easiest place to find it. Uh, let's see. Let's try it this way. RMS Queen Mary. There we go. Let's see. When was her maiden voyage? Queen Mary's maiden voyage was May 27th, 1936. So that would have been 24 years after uh, Titanic, Titanic's maiden voyage. Uh, she was launched in 1934 on September 26th. So yeah, the Queen is the closest we could get to anything remotely close to the Titanic. It would have been great if they would have saved the Olympic and preserved it, but uh, they did not because uh, at the time the Olympic was taken out of service, uh, the Great Depression was well underway, and sending her to the scrapyard uh, was going to give a lot of people jobs and put food on a lot of people's tables, so, you know, in that regard, I understand why they did it. Um, for historical purposes, though, it's it's a bummer. And, of course, the Olympic and the Mauritania went there at the same time as two great ships that could have been preserved. I would absolutely love to go to the Arizona Memorial, too. And, of course, at the same time, as I've mentioned uh, many times before, uh, the Missouri Mighty Mo is right there. I'm trying very hard to get the, uh, the Iowa class on this game. That way I can have footage to show you guys of the Iowa class in action, which is what the Missouri is. It's an Iowa class ship. But uh, it's one of the highest classes uh, you can get in the game, and it's really, really hard to get. I mean, well, maybe not if uh, if you're like a streamer or something and play this game all the time, which uh, I am not and do not have the time to always do. You know, I play it when I can in my off time, and like I said, I played it a lot on and off throughout the years. And right now it's on one of the uh, the on times. But hey, we get to see the Arizona here. I was about to say, that ship's about to get wrecked. Cool, welcome back, Nathan. So yeah, I was asking you uh, before you had to go um, about horror movies and stuff. Uh, you said you haven't seen too many. Have there uh, are there any that you've ever seen and any that you liked? You know, <clears throat> I could do a live stream for hours on just talking about horror movies because that's a, a big thing for me. We've got about 15 minutes left of the live stream. Can't name any off the top of my head, to be honest. No worries. Uh, I'm just being curious. <laughs> and that's going to that's gonna be the topic of uh, a lot of discussions uh, next month, that's for sure.
Uh, speak, now, speaking of which, uh, did you get the St. Louis class in this game yet? I was actually reading about the St. Louis class uh, earlier today, and I was reading about the, uh, the New Orleans class cruisers, uh, the USS New Orleans in particular. I'm going to be trying to uh, get a hold of that ship in the game as well. When I think about when I make my next CC payment later this month, I'm thinking about upgrading to the 4K Max subscription. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to show my ignorance here, uh, but uh, the, the 4K Max subscription, what, what is that exactly? You know, I've got a subscription to Peacock, but <laughs> it's probably not the same thing. Because it isn't... Uh... No, I forgot where I was going to go with that, but anyway. Uh... I need to get something higher. That way I can get these... Uh... I can get these things closer into the video and you can actually see them behind me. I'll be upgrading from HD 1080p to 4K capability for streaming. It's like $20 a month. Wow. Okay. What, uh... That like your... Upgrading from 1080p to 4K capability for streaming. So I'm assuming that's through your internet provider. Um, if you don't mind me asking, uh, who is your internet provider and how are you getting uh, 20 bucks a month? <laughs> I need something like that. I mean, my uh, my bill isn't too high, but uh, I only uh, I also have Disney Plus through Verizon. Nice. Okay, so you you got stuff through Verizon. I've got, I'm, I'm with AT&T uh, for my cellular, and um, I got the, the Spawn of Satan, Comcast, as my uh, internet provider. But actually, my, my, my internet bill isn't that bad. That's because uh, I don't have, um, I don't subscribe to cable. Uh, I am a cord cutter. I see uh, in my, uh, in my humble opinion, I think, um, Cable is about the most useless thing you can spend money on when there are so many more uh, options you can have for free content these days. Uh, cable is about the, is it's certainly not a necessity, put it that way. You have Cox. Okay, a lot of people in New Orleans have Cox. Oh, HBO Max, which is now Max, just Max. Okay, gotcha. I wasn't aware that they uh, that they changed the name. Yeah, I subscribe to uh, Disney Plus like one month out the year when uh, when Mandalorian comes out. Uh, with a new season, after all the episodes have aired, I subscribe to Disney Plus for a month. I watch The Mandalorian. I watch uh, a couple of the other Star Wars shows that I like. Um, I watch the Titanic documentaries they have. And I uh, so cancel after a month. I'm good until next year. No problem. No problem. You know, do what you got to do. We're going to be wrapping it up uh, in about 10 minutes anyway. We'll be approaching the, uh, the one hour mark. But people are, if you guys are enjoying the live streams, uh, let me know in the comments. Because um, that's, it's definitely a, a motivation factor to hear that people enjoy the streams. Um, it's motivation to want to keep doing them for sure. 
Now, and if you if you like history, you like historical content, um, you know anyone else that does, uh, send them on over. You know, if you're interested, uh, you you can ask me any question about anything you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. You know, as I've said, I don't consider myself a uh, an expert on any ship, but I do know a pretty decent amount, and uh, I'm pretty sure I can answer most of the questions you may have, be it about uh, you know Titanic or any other ship. But if you know, if you have a question about the Titanic, uh, or even if you have a question about the movie, you know the James Cameron movie, I'm pretty sure I can answer those pretty good for you too. You know, the more, the more folks participating in the chat, the uh, it's definitely uh, motivation to keep doing it. Yeah, Arizona's in a dogfight here. Yeah, I mentioned the uh, the USS New Orleans earlier. That's a ship I'm going to be reading a lot more into. Um, a couple of things I learned for about it today was. Um, the ship was in Pearl Harbor at the time of the uh, the attack, and uh, she took on a lot of damage uh, throughout World War II. She did survive the Pearl Harbor attack, and she served throughout the entire war, um, took on a lot of damage, but was never sunk. Uh, she survived. And uh, I believe the ship's bell, yes, the, the, the ship's bell is uh, one of the artifacts that is on display at the uh, the USS Kidd Museum. And see, we're looking at the Arizona in dry dock. Oh, welcome back. I would... Uh, your parents are going to bed. No worries, man. No worries. Yeah, I would love to see someone do, uh, hopefully, um, and I don't know if Mike Brady intends to do this in his uh, Grand Voyage game, but, uh, you know, maybe put some uh, some naval vessels in his game where uh, you can tour them and some of the insides of the ships like he plans on doing with uh, with all the different ocean liners. I don't know if he's going to put Titanic in the game, at least right, probably not right in the beginning because he is partnered with Honor and Glory. So uh, I don't see Titanic ending up in his game right away. Maybe when that partnership ends, we may see Titanic in there. Man, if only we could tour this ship. So, Nathan, I don't remember if I asked you or not, but uh, did you end up getting the uh, St. Louis class in the... Uh, in this game? Love this shot of the ship. I believe this is New York Harbor. Almost positive it is. That's what, certainly what it looks like. Yeah, this is New York. Okay, you did get it. Sweet. Okay, uh, any reason? Says I haven't used it much. One thing about these old ships, and uh, I've been on enough of them, where uh, you see all the ladders and stuff. When you're climbing up and down in these ships, uh, the, the ladders are so confined and 
It's not stairs, it's ladders. I mean, you got to turn around. And the best way to do it is to turn around and climb it up and down like a ladder. Wanting to grind the destroyers to get the aircraft carrier tree. Okay, gotcha. See, I went the other route. I went towards all the battleships because that's, I, I'm, a, I'm a battleship nerd. You know, I love ocean liners and battleships, which is two completely polar opposite things. <laughs> they have nothing in common with each other, but those are those are my loves. You know, of course, the kid being an exception because, you know, the kid's a destroyer. I would love to have the kid in game. But I would like to try out the aircraft carriers at some point, too. But not until I get the Iowa class. Now, I would love to get some of the DLC, uh, for which is some of the ships that I want, but you know, the USS Alabama in this game, for example, is 50 bucks. I'm not paying 50 bucks for any DLC. I could get a new game for cheaper than 50 bucks. I mean, no. Not happening. And even the kid, I think, is thirty-five dollars. I could see paying ten bucks, maybe twelve bucks even. I've I paid twelve bucks for DLC uh, in other games, but fifty dollars? No, just not happening. All right, so we are coming up on the one-hour mark, so uh, I guess this is going to be a good spot to go ahead and uh, wrap things up. Uh, uh, it's a bummer Matt wasn't able to, to join us this week, uh, but maybe he'll be with us uh, back next week. Um, so uh, our weekly schedule is as follows. Um, every, all times are Central Standard U.S. time. Uh, we have a uh, quiz of the day, which is usually ship-related, uh, at 9 in the morning. We have a random uh, poll of the day, which can be a poll about anything, uh, at 10 in the morning. We have the video short of the day, which comes out at 11 a.m. every morning. We have one, uh, one full-length video each week, which comes out Fridays at 7 a.m. And we have the one-hour live stream uh, on Friday evenings at 7 p.m. Uh, if we can get the um, if the live stream uh, eventually catches on more and we start getting in more people uh, and more interaction, I may uh, do it for longer than an hour or maybe do more live streams. But for now, uh, that's going to be the schedule for the live streams. So yeah, just activated ESPN Plus and about to activate Hulu too. I thought about getting that stuff, but from what I'm hearing, um, Disney's going to be jacking up the prices on a lot of that stuff, so um, I probably will not get those things. Um, also, by the way, uh, we do have a Discord server. Um, it's a very small community, but it's a very active community. Um, there's no drama over in much of anything going on in there. You know, it's mostly lighthearted stuff. We talk movies, we talk ships, you know, you all sorts of things like that. Um, no, nothing real serious, you know, so if you, if you want to come hang out, talk to me, uh, hang out with a nice, uh, cool community, by all means, uh, we would love to have you, uh, All American Travels on Discord. Let's see, it's included with Verizon for me. My dad may get the Hulu Plus and Live TV. I used to have Hulu Live, uh, but... They, uh, I was paying like 40 bucks a month for it a few years ago, and then they wanted to jack the price up to like 60 or something, and I was like that, yeah. No, I don't watch enough TV to have it, uh, so that's why I ended up canceling it. We got some, uh, this is a really nice shot of the kid here. He did, Matt did a great job getting uh, this footage right here. It's amazing to think that I've been on that ship multiple times. But yeah, anyway, that's that's going to do it for this week. Uh, thanks to every, everyone uh, and anyone who watched. Uh, Nathan, thanks for coming by and hanging out with me. Um, I have to reboot my computer, uh, which is going to maybe take two, three minutes, uh, and go grab another swig of drink after that. 
I will be playing warships. Uh, if you want, you can come. Uh, we can go play a few rounds together. I will be in the uh, in the voice chat in Discord. So thanks again, everyone, for watching. Um, and until next week, uh, you know the drill: drive safely.